Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding active businesses and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Yelp interview over the past couple of years. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called events with three different columns, business ID, event type and occurrences. The combined column business ID and event type is the primary key of this table. Each row in this table logs the info that an event of some type occurred at some business for a number of times. The average activity for a particular event type is the average occurrences across all companies that have this event. An active business is a business that has more than one event type such that their occurrences is strictly greater than the average activity for this event. We are asked to write a SQL query to find all active businesses. Okay, let's go through this example, right? So here we have different uh, rows for business ID, event type, occurrences. So what it means, the question is trying to ask like all those uh, active businesses where more than one event type you know, the number of occurrences was greater than the average across that event type. So what they mean basically is that, so for example, one event type is reviews, right? So across all the business, what is the average number of occurrences? So seven plus three divided by two, which is five, right? So if you see seven is greater than the average, right? Five. So for business ID one across reviews, the number of occurrences is greater than the average of reviews right across all businesses similarly for ads if we see right so there are three different businesses for ads what is the average 11 plus 7 plus 6 divided by 3 which is 8 right for since only 11 is greater than 8 so again for business id 1 you know the um, occurrence is greater than the average so there are two events for business id 1 where the number of occurrences is greater than their respective averages, right? So here seven greater than five and 11 greater than eight. But if you see for page views, right? For page views, what is the average? 12 plus three divided by two, which is seven and a half. Obviously three is not greater than seven and a half, but it says an active business is defined as a business that has at least more than one event type, right? Such that the occurrence is strictly greater than average activity. So here in the output, we should have one because here we have two different events, reviews and ads for business ID one, where the number of occurrences was greater than the average value, right? Similarly, if you can, you know, see for like, let's say for business ID two, should it appear? So two is not in the reviews, two is in the ads as well as the page views, right? So two is in the ads. We remember for ads, the average was eight. So obviously this is not going to come. And for this, yes, 12 is greater than seven and a half, but there is only one category, right? One event type page views where business ID has occurrences greater than the average, but it says it should be more than one. So two cannot come three. Again, this is not greater than five. This is again not greater than five. So the only output or the only active business as per the definition is business ID one. And that is going to be the output. Okay. So to solve this, what we can do is we can add a fourth column in this table called events, you know, and calculate the averages across each event type, right? Then what we can do is once we have those averages, then we can keep only those rows where the occurrences is greater than that average value, right? And then you can proceed further from that. Okay. So let's go step by step. So how do we add the average across these different event types? We can use a window function, right? To create partitions across event types and then calculate the average. So what I'm doing is from this table called events, let's return everything right because we are you know adding a fourth column so let's return all the three columns and then since we are using a window function we write over and then create partition so partition by event type right and here order by does not matter because we are calculating average as a whole of that partition right so order does not matter here so once you create the partition you then calculate the average occurrences right 
so average occurrences and let's alias this as AVG occurrences right now if I let's let me go ahead and run this okay obviously this is not the complete query so the, the, the wrong answer will be wrong but let's see what happens okay so here if you see we have business ID event type and occurrences from this table we we made a new column average occurrence and if you see for ads right so for ads we calculated what was the average 8 right 11 plus 7 plus 6 divided by 3 8 so you see for you know ads 8 8 8 we have the average across for page views it's seven and a half seven and a half for reviews it is five right so we have that let's store this in a common table expression right so with ct as and then let's put this in the parenthesis now from this common table expression what we are doing is we are only concerned where the number of occurrences is greater than the average across that event type right so let's keep where occurrences is greater than average occurrence right so this will only keep those rows where you know the number of occurrences is greater than the average across that event type right then what we can do is we can group by the business id right now when we group by business id because what we are why we are grouping by we need to you know we can use the having function in this case to basically filter out values based on an aggregate right so where the count of such event types is greater than one why will this work so from common table expression right so let me just copy this here you know and demonstrate what is happening in this case right so why will this work it will make it more clear right so average arc right so for average arc this came out to be five five then it was eight 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 and then this was seven and a half seven and a half right now what i did was so this is now the common table expression from now what i did was from this common table expression keep only those rows where number of occurrences is greater than the average right so here what will happen this row is not going to be there this these two rows not going to be there right this row not going to be there right so now i have this right up till this right up till this now what i do is i group by the business id right so for group business id one i group by there is one group for business id one and then business id two there is another group and then when what i can do is having you know filtering based on aggregate value so having the count of different events you know so to count of different event type greater than one so this will make sure so here for this you will see that okay for group business id one there are indeed the count of event type is you know two right so it is greater than one for but for this page views it is only one and we know by the definition that an active business should have more than one event type right where occurrences is greater than the average so it will keep only that business id right which satisfies this condition so in this case business id one and then you return simply the business id right and we don't need to alias it at because the name of the column is going to be business id in the output as well okay so this looks good let me go ahead and remove this and let's run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yep this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again not very difficult question all we had to do was follow the logic try to find out the averages across each event type then only keep those rows basically all only keep those businesses where the occurrences were greater than that average value then what we did was we grouped by that business id and only kept those where there were multiple event types not only single event type right and then we returned the business id i hope this video was useful let me know if this video was useful and if you have any better solution or a more efficient way of doing this let me know in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video